Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you all are fine. Welcome to your online class of subject maths. Till now we have learned numbers, addition and in our third lesson we are learning subtraction. What is subtraction? When things are taking away they are being subtracted. The sign of subtraction is minus. Okay. Now you can see here subtraction can be done like this. Okay. Here we were having six balls and uh, uh, someone has taken away two balls. Means we have subtracted two balls. So how many balls with um, how many balls left with us? Four. Okay. So this can be read as six minus two is equals to four. And we have done subtraction from the bigger number to smaller number. Okay. So we are subtracting smaller number from the bigger number. Okay students. We have done subtraction using abacus also. So here we have to subtract 32 from 45. Okay. So draw 5 on ones, 5 beats on one square and 4 beats on Tens y. So how many you have to subtract on ones? Two. Subtract two. Okay. How many bits left with us? Three. One, two, three. Draw it here. Okay. Next. How many subtract in the tens place? Three. So cut three bits on tens y. Left with us are only one. So we have drawn one here. 45 minus 32 is equals to 13. Okay. Word problems. Number of beads in the box were 78. And number of beads Mina took were 24. So how many beads are left in the box we have to find. So by subtraction we can find the number of beads left in the box. Okay. Next, subtraction using regrouping. This is also called as subtraction with borrowing. Sometimes what will happen? We will not get enough ones to subtract. Here we have only 2. But here we have 6. But 2 is smaller than 6. So we are borrowing 110 from 10's place. So this number is becoming 12 now. 12 minus 6 is 6. From 8 we have borrowed. So 8 will become 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay. Let's start comparing with the help of subtraction. With the help of sub subtraction we can compare two numbers. And find out by how much one number is greater than the other. Now example you can see Seema has 17 dolls. Okay. Seema has 17 dolls and Amrita has 23 dolls. Who has more, do more dolls and by how much? Now you can see Seema has Twenty-three dolls and Amrita has seventeen dolls. Okay, so we have to find. Sorry, students. Now you can see Amrita is having 23 dolls and Seema is having 17 dolls. Okay. So we have to find who is having more dolls and how much. So you have to do the subtraction. Okay. Now here you see we have not enough ones. So we have to take borrow from tens place. So this number will become 13. So 13 minus 7 is 
six. Now this ten tens number will become only one. One minus one is zero. So Amrita has Amrita has six more dolls. Amrita has six more dolls more than Seema. Okay. Now you have to find the subtraction and you have to find where uh, who is having more and by how much. Okay. Please do these three problems. Next, checking subtraction using addition. Students, see here we have to subtract 28 from 63 and we have to check the answer okay so we need to regroup 63 as we cannot subtract 8 from 3 see here 63 minus 28 can we subtract 8 from 3 no why because 3 is smaller than 8 so you have to take borrow from tens place you have to take borrow from tens place so this will become 13 now okay we are 110 borrowing so this will become 13 13 minus 8 is 5. Now here we have taken 1 borrow from 6. So this 6 will become 5. Okay. This 6 will become 5. 5 minus 2 is how much? 3. We got 35. Okay now students. Now we have to check whether this answer is correct or not. Okay, we will add the difference of two numbers to the one of the number. Now, see we, ha we have got this difference now. So, we are adding this difference to this number. Okay, we are adding this number to one number. The answer we get is 63. Now, see here. 35 plus 28. 5 plus 8 is how much? 13. Write 3 here and 1 as carry. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. See, we got 63 or not? Yes. So, this proves that the subtraction was done correctly okay now see here if 96 minus 34 is equals to 62 then 34 plus 62 is equals to 96 okay if 67 minus 48 is equals to 19 then 48 plus 19 is equals to 67. Okay now students. Now you have to do this in your textbook. Okay. Next addition on a number grid. See this is the number grid. When we want to add two numbers on a grid. We start from one number and move forward as many spaces as the other number. Just as the way we did on the number strip. Now, see here, we have to add 8 plus 20. So, put a mark on 8. Okay? And we have to take 20 forward jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. We have did this on number strip. But on the grid, you can see here. 
you can see we have two tens here okay we have two tens so from 8 we are taking two forward jumps 1 2 okay and in the ones place we have 0 so we are stopping here only okay now students next in this case you can see we have to add 46 we are adding 46 and 23 so put mark on 46 first then take in the 23 here we have 2 on the tens place so 1 2 ok and on the ones place we have 3 so we are going forward 3 times 1 2 3 ok so 69 is our sum hope you understood the addition of the number grid ok Thank you students and be ready for the next class.